Okay, what I have here is an inverted coaster dynamics train. Uh, to be more specific, this is a Raptor statics model that you can get at Cedar Point. Um, it's pretty much a scorpion train. Um, these plastic wheels that you see inside here can be removed and replaced with metal wheels and it this train will be able to run on the regular coaster dynamics track. Um, in the last video we saw a drop test on the above track model. Now I'm going to show you why it's so important to do the drop test on the inverted coaster. There, uh, this piece right here is called a link limiter. Um, there's a diagram of it in the instructional manual. Um, now basically, the link limiter limits the motion between the front two cars. Um, basically, a pilot coach, like on a, a real coaster, um, for those of us that have ridden, say for instance, Raptor at Cedar Point. The first two cars work in tandem to steer the train around the track. Now, each train comes with this piece, and it's very important that you check this piece to make sure it's in here. So, now make sure the round part is toward the back of the car. So, here's the front of the car. Just the light here. Okay. Here's the front of the car. I'm going to take this, put this under that ball. And it should snap right in there. Oh, it went right in there. No problem. Now, then the second car you'll take goes through. The coupler goes through the the circle and snaps onto the ball joint. Okay. Now this only gives you this motion, your pivot motion, because what you want you want this car to go like this. This actually makes up one car. So you want this, these both to go up and down at the same time, and you want them both to go left and right at the same time. Now if that piece is missing, the train will not make it around the entire track. It will go through your first loop, and then it will stop if that piece is missing. That is your link limiter. It is very important for operating your scorpion or your dragon train. Uh, another thing I want to show you while I got the train out is the the wheel setup. Now you, what you want to do, you want to make sure these parts right here take this off here. Okay, this bottom piece where the upstop wheel sits in. What you want to do is it the train will be fully assembled. But what you want to do is you want to push it toward the center. So that makes sure those two center snaps. There's two snaps right there. That makes sure those snaps right there are snapped in. Okay, stay tuned, more to come.